Good afternoon guys from Salida, Colorado. It's been like two weeks since we've picked up the camera. Uh, we have been enjoying our time here in Colorado. Unfortunately, we didn't get to share too much with you because we took it for ourselves. And I think everybody deserves like a little bit of a staycation or workcation uh, from the RV life. Uh, but we are in Salida. We hooked up with our old friends, Mark and Janelle who followed our YouTube channel and we originally met up with them uh, two years ago in uh, Quartzsite when we made the announcement about getting this vehicle. How ironic, they, it's they come full circle. circle. Um, so yeah, we're parked on their little chunk of land. It's been awesome hanging out with them. In fourth gear, okay, at least the turbo's kicked in. There's a bit of a dog at these elevations, but I still love this truck. Uh, so yeah, we're on our way to a free BLM camping area to meet up with Rick and Melanie. And it's town, it's hot here, and they have a Sonic, so we come bearing gifts of high fructose corn syrup, red number five, and all kinds of other shit chemicals that we don't even need to go into because it's hot here. Well, once we arrived in Colorado, we actually stayed in one place for seven nights, which was fantastic for us. We did a lot of adulting, but we also had some fun. We were camped right on Shadow Mountain Lake between Granby and Grand Lake, Colorado. Uh, apparently just minutes from the entrance of Rocky Mountain National Park, though we did not go in. <laughs> no uh, surprise there. Yeah, big shock. Uh, we were able to have dinner with some viewers that have become friends, Tammy and Tom. They were kind enough to share a dinner of venison with us. It was fantastic. And my cousin came up to visit from Denver, so we had a lot of fun with them. And then we just got things done that we had been putting off because we've been moving into this EV. All of those things that have to be done in life even if you live on the road. Our favorite thing about staying at this place though might have been the epic thunderstorms that we witnessed. Oh wow, oh my. Wow, that is some big old hail. Well, since this is an update video, I should probably uh, talk about things that are on the horizon. We have come to the determination that we need some new camera gear, um, specifically because of this vehicle. Now, it may seem good right now, but when we're on a dirt road in this vehicle, it's like, Argh. no, very unpleasant. And uh, DJI just came out with a uh, Ronin S gimbal just like we use with our GoPro so we're gonna be moving towards one of those very very soon uh, we're also gonna upgrade our mic you know, we have a little fuzzy shotgun mic up there and just to give you guys better video quality but that's coming up in the near future while we're on the topic of things on the horizon meetups we will be doing meetups as we drive across the country probably on a short notice basis so keep in touch with our Facebook page because that's where the announcements will be coming through. We can also post uh, social feeds on YouTube now. So that's we'll true. I will like do that. that as well. Um, first one is going to be in Denver probably within the next week. And if you guys from Colorado have suggestions for a place where we can do evening parking and get the beast parked, uh, that would be fantastic if you want to make a suggestion for us on that meetup. How <laughs> yeah, ironic we hit a dirt road and now you see the I know. reason why we need now the Now you know why we need the gimbal. <laughs> Not bad. No, it's gorgeous out here. There's yeah. places that have some shade if you get in by the trees and it's beautiful scenery. All the love to you guys. Bye, Bye. guys. And I'll see you soon, man. All right. <laughs> Bye. So forgive the wind, but meeting you guys is definitely the best part of what we get to do when we're out traveling. So. If you're near where we are, hit us up. We'd love to hang out. Well guys, we cannot lie. We did not finish the video yesterday. Uh, we returned back here to Mark and Janelle's place. Just an awesome little spot to uh, set up their full-time travel trailer and uh, call a home base while they're uh, not traveling. 
So the only other thing we wanted to uh, talk to you guys about today was we have decided on a name for our new camper here. Um, we're going back between uh, Denali, but that's a very cliche Alaska name. But for everybody else in the world, it's not cliche. Um, the other one was uh, Rogue, but the big Rogue River's in Oregon. I love the word. And what was the other one? Eve, like uh, from that movie Wally. -E, Eve. Uh, searching for life and also uh, EV so but we have decided officially on Denali Faraday um, the Faraday part may sound a little weird but the Faraday part comes and some of you science people may know what a Faraday cage is uh, like kind of protects things against like an EMP electromagnetic pulse uh, but we make the joke because our cell phone service dies inside this thing and so Actually, we if you do <laughs> yeah exactly so there it is the rig has a name denali <laughs> faraday or denny faraday but denny in short so thanks for watching i know this was just a pretty laid back not too in depth of a uh, cool awesomeness video but it's real life um not sure what's coming next, but we are going to work our way towards the family farm in Kansas. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button.